a homily for Friday, June 3rd. The world is too much with us, William Wordsworth said. Late and soon, getting and spending, we lay waste our powers. That was in 1802. And if that was 1802, what would Wordsworth say about our world today? I say that our world is wearing me out. Today's readings do not help me. Paul is being sent to Rome to be crucified. The crucified and risen Jesus tells Peter that he will be crucified. And now today everyone is crucified, not least innocent black shoppers and fourth graders. Since the readings did not help me, I turned to the psalm of the day. It is mostly praise of God, which is fine in its own way, but not helpful to me right now. So I looked for a psalm of lament, and I found Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? That's a good start. I can pray it in the plural, too. How long, O Lord, will you forget us forever? Notice that if I am sitting quietly in my prayer chair, the opening question, how long, O Lord, can be not just the entry point, but a lot of the prayer itself, if I allow the questions to attract my feelings like a magnet. I sit with the feelings, and the psalm text gives me the words I now do not have to pray as I would like. Since this is prayer, the words not only name what is true inside me, but they invite God into the process. How long must I bear the pain in my soul? And now the word pain names another of my feelings. How long must I have sorrow in my heart all day long? Now the word sorrow names another of my feelings. I rest with these feelings. How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Perhaps there's someone or some group or something in your life that exalts over you. Or perhaps the enemy is more distant, like the governor of Texas, or more abstract, like the Supreme Court. Whatever the image, I allow it to rest in me, you too, to give my feelings, to give our feelings an image. Consider and answer, O Lord, my God. I'm feeling feisty. I'm feeling feisty now, ready to confront the Almighty One for failing to help. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death. After another verse, the psalm makes an important turn. Before we follow the psalm in making that turn, Let's stay as long as we need to in the feelings. Remember, we are not inviting ourselves to feel sorry for ourselves. This is not a pity party. We are simply asking ourselves to acknowledge our feelings and the images and realities that attach to them as something that is profoundly true about ourselves. And as we are gathering our resolve to move to a, that place that encounters these feelings with something of hope. But, this is the key word that introduces the turn. But, I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. So, there's the turn. The world may be chaos, the chaos may engulf me, but, the key word, 
but I will remember the boundless, bountiful good God has done for me, for us, as we name the specifics of our own lives. We choose to make the turn and allow the sense of God's bounty, the concrete reality of this bounty, to take center place inside us. This turn is conscious choice that we make in faith, even as we gasp at our insufficient faith. But choosing to be faithful in the absence of sufficient faith builds our faith. We must hold on to that sense of beauty and that sense of bounty, whether it is a thought, a realization, or a feeling. This is where we meet God inside us, in the recognition and the acknowledgement. It is very fragile, of course, and we have to keep it close. And yet the psalm is always there for a return visit. Please try that for yourself today for those you love and for our world.